Well, hello there. It's Nancy today. So, um, I'm, I'm home alone. Imagine that. It's nice and quiet here. There's nobody to make noise to. Nobody to bother. Kind of neat. I was all ready to go. Willem's singing in the choir tonight, and I was all ready to go and, you know. Anyway, but the last minute I didn't have to go so here I am I was thinking what should I do it's easy to sit here and look through YouTube and try and find something but it doesn't always there's not always anything that's good there's so much bad news in the world right now a lot of crap happening isn't there uh oh, I did something wrong. Um, so it turns out I have Lyme disease. I have a I have a spot on my back that's about this big around, and there's a big spot in the middle that's about that big around. I thought it was going to be a dot with a circle around. I thought that was what the the uh, if you have a tick bite. I didn't know I had a tick bite. Maybe I got it from these cats. I didn't have any ticks on me though and ah but I did go cutting grass remember when I went cutting grass I had no energy but I went anyway that I think I already had COVID then see because I know I've had this thing for three weeks because that's when I went to the doctor to get medication for it and the medications she gave me didn't work so now I'm on doxycycline so that was three weeks ago. That lasted for a week, and then a week with nothing, another week with nothing. And then I got something on Saturday. So I'm, I'm on another three-week run of this stuff. So anyway, so that was three weeks. That was already huge. It was hurting so badly. So by then, you know, I mean, the, it was unbelievable. The doctor looked at it, and she says, I can't even see what it is. Let me just, I can treat this. Anyway. But she thought it was a um, she thought it was a bullseye, but I thought, oh no no, I scratched my back really hard and you know well I think I scratched my back because of that. Anyway, so um, I th you you get the bullseye anywhere from a month, three days to a month from when you get from when you get limed when you get bitten. Is this this is my mood ring? What color is it? Pink? Looks pink. If you look at it from the side, it looks blue. I got it wet. I don't know if that matters. I got one wet when I was a teenager. And it never worked after that. But, anyway, whatever. <laughs> um... Yeah, so if I had it for a month before then, then that makes so much sense. It explains why I have been feeling so weak and unable to get out of the chair, unable to do anything. And I've been taking this since Saturday, and I do feel pretty good. I was going to go out this evening, but I'm not now, but... It's going to go down to negative 15 tonight. It's pretty cold. I used to go visit people, but not in the evenings, not after dark. I don't, I haven't driven after dark for a long time. I mean, I can, and I do if I have to, if I end up out and it gets dark. But I don't generally leave the house when it's dark. You see, we've moved this room around. This is now the. This is now the um, living room. It's very strange after having the living room in there for twenty six years, twenty seven years, and now to have it out here. I put a coat rack up there. <clears throat> anyway, but I was talking to Mary Jane last night, and. I, I told her how I had been feeling about the loss of, of my, my body, right? 
I really am having a hard time getting used to it. But I thought that when I had the Lyme, when I had that weakness and I couldn't move, and I, I thought, oh, no, I've sat for too long. I've ruined myself. I'll never be able to. You know, this is the rest of my life. But I think it was Lyme. And all those depressed thoughts. She said, Nancy, you have to be grateful that you can see. I said, that that's all doesn't matter. You know, it's just that I just can't deal with this. Anyway, but she's right. I wasn't being grateful. So I'm going to be grateful now. I'm grateful that I have this dress and that I have this blouse which can go under the stress. And I'm grateful that I have shampoo and I was able to wash my hair. Does it shine? I don't like it when it doesn't shine. It looks kind of dull. I think I have used the... I have to... You know, it's really tricky with these shampoos. If you use homemade shampoo, it'll, see when it starts to get dull like that? It could be that it's... Um, the buildup of wax. They put wax in the shampoo to make your hair shine. <laughs> Just like on the floor. Nobody waxes the floor anymore, do they? My mother used to wax the floor. I have waxed the floor for my mother. Anyway, this is so nice. I guess we're going to have a party. Just you and me. What's up like? Now, somebody said I should turn up the mic on this. I could do that. This is the mic turn up place. How is that? Is that too loud or is that better? But it's not live, so you can't tell me. I have comments coming in. Yes, indeed. Tammy said, oh, please be very careful. That was when I fell when I was out there walking with Chumbles. I went for a walk today. I did it. I got out there and I walked around. I was very cautious of the foot, you know, the, it's an ice storm. So there's ice and there's snow, but the snow is frozen into the ice. So that makes it rough. So Fruit Fly said in 41, removing a mine, mountain in Minecraft, she says, I love your videos. Could you somehow make the microphone louder? So I just turned up the microphone. So now you saw when it was lower, and now you see what it is now. Is that okay, or is it too loud? It's at, I don't know what it's at, two-thirds of the way across, whatever that means. This is on OBS 30. And Ash 10 last name. Oh, I used to have one a friend called first name, last name. She said, this is whole, so wholesome, my 35 in my Minecraft life with Nancy today. It is wholesome. It's very time, very wholesome, isn't it? And Uma, hi Uma. I have morning prayer for old people. Thank you for this prayer. May the angels and the Most High assist your heart and release you from depression. You are greatly loved. Big squeeze from the enchanted land. Uma. Isn't that so sweet? Prayer for my Delp sister in Sister Linda Taylor. I always shall pray for Linda Taylor. Deborah Louder said about the thoughts from Fiddlehead Pond. Good thoughts, Nancy. It seems like it's been a long time since I've written a response. Thank you for sharing your opinions. Very deep, and your surroundings, of course. And the cozy cat spot, Suze said, I'm sure the fleece is nice and warm. The problem with the fleece I've put out there is the cats don't seem to want it. Not unless it's felted. Like if it's a, a mat... They'll lie on that. I've got it on the chair and they lie on that. They like it. And I have part of it going over the chair so that there's no wind that can get in under them. I think it's supposed to be cold tonight. Oh, look at that. It's negative 11 already. It's going down to negative 15. Which means, I will check Fahrenheit, it's 11 degrees and it's going... It's going down... To a high today of 22 and the low is going to be 5. 
Well, I think we're into winter. We're December. Winter here starts in usually the end of November. Anyway, sorry, I get so distracted. I love your comments. Thank you so much for your comments. I was really bummed out. I, you, you have no idea how, you know, to think that that Lyme disease, at that level of pain and weakness and and just no energy and, you know, to think that, you know, that that was going to be permanent, you know, you have to accept old age, right? You have to accept these changes and, and it doesn't seem like you can really go back. I mean, you can, if you stop moving, but I think you can, I think you can just start moving again and then your body gets used to it. You just tighten your muscles. But they say you lose 1% of your muscle mass every year. They say 10% every decade, but I think that's a little stupid to say it that way when you say 1% every year. From when you're about 20, 30, something in there, 25. I don't know what the numbers are. You can look it up if you want. But so that by the time you're older, you've lost a lot of your muscle mass just by attrition. Even if you keep doing the same exercises, you still lose that 1%. And then you're still fit, but you're just fit at a different level, I guess. Hmm. Oh well. So, now I've run out of things to say. I don't really think I should talk about being old. I don't think I should talk about that anymore. I should forget about it. I saw a picture of me and Mary. I've got it up there on the on the top here. I'm trying to show it to you. I don't think I can. You can't zoom this in at all. But there it is up there. Mary's wearing red and I'm wearing purple. <clears throat> and I certainly look like an old lady. I mean, if I saw her, I'd say, yeah, she's an old lady. But I'm not. Anyway, I'm sorry, all you people that are younger and think that I'm just... You know, Anchor used to say, you can't talk in the groups we would hang out and make stuff. And she would say, but no talking about husbands and no talking about health problems. I don't think she had any health problems personally. I think she was pretty healthy for all that time. Anyway, whatever. I'm just rattling off at the mouth. It was good to call Mary Jane last night. You know, because I'm on my own all the time. And I really don't, you know, I'm, I'm quite alone in this house with my family. Even with, especially when they're, when they're here, I'm more alone than when they're not here. When they're not here, I've got the house. I'm home! <laughs> Sorry if that was allowed for you. I like having my own house. I feel like I'm a teenager, but I have everything I ever wanted. I have a house exactly the way I like it. I have my coats. I have my knee socks. I have boots of all kinds and shoes. I have the most beautiful property in the world. I have the gospel of Jesus Christ. What what more could I want? I don't really take advantage of it, though. Like, instead of being depressed, you know, I should have been relying on the Savior. And if I look across at the chair over there and imagine that the Savior is here, you know, we're in the same family. If the Savior is here, then I have no troubles. Uh, because it's all going to work out. All this stuff is temporary. But without the gospel, I mean, when I forget about them, which of course I do because I'm so human, and then I'm left to my own. Hey, did you see the Christmas tree? There's a Christmas tree. Pretty, eh? I got a computer, one of these really cheap laptops, $199, and 
I tried to turn it on and just go on the internet or just go on the just go on a website and it wouldn't open. I just I just wanted a regular just wanted it to be a regular Windows page. Anyway, it wouldn't work. So I'm not sure what to do with it. Take it back? I could take it back. Or I don't want to spend more and get a different one. But it should work, right? I mean, if it wasn't me buying it, somebody else would have bought it and they would open it up and they would expect to plug it in and have it turn on and it would work. So I think I have to just deal with it. But then I have to be interested in dealing with it. There's a lot of projects that I have to do. But we finished so many projects. We finished all the garden. That took forever. There was so much food to put away. I mean, it was awesome. It was great. But it just took forever. But now it's over. All the food has been put away, dried. Except there's some overripe bananas that should be dehydrating, I suppose. The Christmas tree is up. Ava put it up for me. It's very strange to have a Christmas tree that has been put up by somebody else. I've been putting up the Christmas tree for years and years and years. Forty. Forty-five. I even put up my mother's tree when I was young. That was fun. How come I don't have kids that want to do all these things for me? But I have Ava. Ava's awesome. The other day she was here and I just asked, could you just, I told her I have lime. I said, could you just clean it up? Just miss clean it? And so I said, no deep projects, you know, no closets or anything today. Let's just, just clean it. And she cleaned it and now I don't want to touch it. I haven't touched it and it's still clean. And it's Wednesday. It's funny, once I found out that I had lime, everything started to make sense and it was such a relief to know that there was a there was a temporary reason that I was having so much trouble having any energy or accomplishing anything at all <sighs> and depression I've been quite depressed but I think that being grateful is a huge remedy for depression huge it's huge so let's think about all the things we're grateful for. I'm grateful I'm not in Gaza. I'm grateful I'm not, that I don't live in many, many countries I'm grateful I don't live in. There's a lot of third world countries, a lot of dangerous countries. And I'm so grateful to live in Canada. I'm so grateful for our gun laws that we don't have freedom to carry guns. I'm grateful that we don't have free speech. You can't go around saying hateful things. Nope. And I'm grateful for that. And what else am I grateful for? I'm grateful for all the people that had to fight the bad guys so that we could have our freedom. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful for our governments. I'm grateful that we can elect people even though politics is what it is, you elect good people and it seems like they get to be corrupt or we just imagine that they're corrupt. But I'm grateful that we have a system where we get to choose. Although for many years, the candidates on both sides are like the same or something and nobody's, nobody's worth voting for. I think that's why people didn't vote for so long. Maybe that's why, I don't know if the U.S. is going to choose authoritarianism if they're really gonna elect a dictator they may they may God bless them but I'm grateful that I'm grateful for the people that took the trouble to get the system going and that we've had democracy my whole life and that nobody has tried to take it over and thwart us And, you know, if you get rid of all the people that are in government, then what happens? Then who do you put in government? There's just the crooked people. 
you don't get all the honest good people then going into office because you have to be a lawbreaker in order to overthrow a government. I don't think that the I don't think that the um, the reason that that there's a Second Amendment that allows people to bear arms. I don't think that is so that they can overthrow their government. I don't think that was the reason at all, but I think that's what they're thinking it is. It's so weird down there. I'm just so grateful I live in Canada and there's not guns and I'm safe. Nobody's going to come to my house and break down the door and take over my house. I'm grateful that... Well, I was just telling you all kinds of negative things. I should tell you all kinds of positive things. I'm grateful for the beautiful earth that we live on. The beautiful mountains and trees and the different kinds of storms. They're so powerful. There's so much power on this earth. You know, it's really amazing. We have almost no power compared to the earth. The power of the wind and the water and the earth moving and lava moving under the earth. I'm grateful I didn't have to evacuate for any reason. I'm grateful that California's drought is over. I was looking at these trees with the ice all over them and everything is bent down. And I was thinking that, oh, I should upload that other video. I took you around for a walk. Anyway, I'll upload that. Um, so that was... Oh, now I can't tell which one it is. We won't worry about that right now. <clears throat> anyway, I'm grateful I have electricity and that I have so many lights. And I'm grateful that electricity doesn't bother me. Or the internet or all this Wi-Fi stuff. Some people are very sensitive to it. I do know I love my grass hut. I mean, negative 15 tonight. That's pretty darn cold. I'm glad I'm not out there. I did think, oh, well, I could go anyway, but I'm glad I didn't. Because now I get to sit around here. Sometimes I think it might be nice to live where it's nice all year. You know, I mean, I love winter because you don't have to work hard and stuff. You don't have any bugs. You don't ever have to sweat. You don't have to run and take a shower because you are so uncomfortable because you're so hot. I'm really grateful for that. And you, you remember Hawaii? I went to Hawaii last December. And my family, that was so sweet of them. And then um, when I was there, I was very uncomfortable with the heat. They have trade winds. And they'd rather you don't use the air conditioner because of all the heat it makes. So that it gets hotter outside. That's interesting, isn't it? I never thought about that. Of course, you know, because we don't... If we have air conditioning, we air condition one room and or something, you know. And I'm so grateful for these cats. These feral cats. I had no idea. I have tried... At some point, I have tried to um, get close to them, or but they stay like so far away from humans. They were just so wild. And now, they all sleep in this chair just on the deck. But they are used to fending for themselves. You know, they'll they have their places. And there's these three giant raccoons. And I'm sure, I mean, they all know each other. The cats are not phased when the raccoons are on the porch. They sit on the chair, but they're not afraid or anything. And the cats, most of the cats are not afraid now. So there was a huge one. I called him Tom. He's gone, which makes me wonder, did he come to breed the cats? Anyway, and then there's Spot, Tabby, and Saddle. They are three big white cats with black markings on them. Tabby has a, a lot of tabby on her. And then there's Shadow, whose, whose coat is very dull, and he was very skinny, and and now he's about this big. I've only been feeding him for about a week. But, you know, they puff out their hair, too. I think it's important to keep them quite, 
quite f well fed when it's so cold. But they sleep together. They all get on this chair. They were, they are, I've seen, well, definitely three cats, but I think I've seen four cats on the chair at one time. It's just a regular garden chair. I love that my house is clean. I love that I'm alone. I'm very grateful I'm alone. I'm really grateful for you guys. You know, you guys are a huge part of my life. 21,000 videos. I mean, that's a lot of time I've spent talking to you. It's a lot of time. And you guys have talked back. And I just love it. And I have my book back here somewhere. My YouTuber's book with all your names in it. Not everybody's name is in it. But I could check... I now know how to find all my comments. You want to know how you do it? Well, you see, you go to, you go to studio here. Oops, wait a minute, which way do I go? So you, so, so studio is here. And then down at the bottom, there's content. So you can go content. And it's not loading yet. Or you can go to comments, and you can go to comments, and you can you can do this thing. I haven't responded. So if you do that with the I haven't responded there, then you only see the comments that are new, which is so cool because I used to try and go through videos. But when you have thousands of videos, you go through a video, and you have to go and read all the comments and see if there's a new one. And that's too hard, but this is so simple. So if I don't say I haven't responded, then I get everything. So the ones, let me see, I have response status, responses with new replies, I haven't responded. So if I haven't responded, see, so it's five hours ago is the latest one, 10 hours, two days, and then we get into nine years. Because I'm working my way back through a nine years. I've been doing this for 17 years. So that's a lot of my life, right? I mean, some of you, that might be all of your life. Anyway, there's a lot of nine years ago. I've been working on nine years ago for a long time. And it just keeps going. That was when I was feeding the deer. Digging for, for deer feed, wild deer. Update from home, chit-chatting. How to make hot process soap. Our freezing cottage. It's hard to believe it could get that cold inside of your house. Hoping you're able to get your homes back into your home soon. Oh, that was so hard. Update from home. Sorry for what you're both going through. Oh, pray. Mm. Anyway, that was nine years ago. And then we keep going and eventually I'll get to ten years ago. Still at nine years ago. Update Monday with Nancy today. Temporary plumbing. How to use a rollator walker. Nine years ago. Well, that was when she responded was nine years ago. Fisheye view walk with Willem. Nancy, get to your favorite shopping spot, a.k.a. the dump, and get a pair of boots, lol. You made me cold watching this. That was Susan K. Nine years ago. How to cook pumpkin. You really like to cook. Oh my gosh, I never thought of using Venetian blinds with the warp. Great idea, Nancy. Oh yeah, I did that for a while. Didn't work very well. It wasn't the best. I guess it kept them apart. I miss having my loom, you know. Now that I'm sitting, now that I'm in the house all the time like this, I used to really like my loom. I would throw the shuttle and reach it way up there and get it with this one, you know, and I was getting a lot of exercise. There, that's who I am. I'm not as big as I look. <laughs> and I have more teeth than it looks like. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, I appreciate your comments. It, it gives me joy. Oh, Joyce.
Oh, sorry. <clears throat> so I haven't written in my journal lately because I've been so bummed out. I guess it's because I've been bummed out. I've been busy, too. I've been doing some child care, right? I started to make another basket. See, I have my baskets hanging up. You like that? And the cat over here on the chair he keeps jumping up to get the catnip in the basket. It's one of the only two cats. See, and there's some other baskets under there I made. It's neat to have these things around me. You know, I gave away so many. These are almost all I have. There are a few more. Well, I've run out of things to say. I could play my violin, I guess. But I think I won't do that right now. So anyway, it was nice talking to you. Thanks for coming and being there. Goodbye.